Today, we'll be talking about fielding in rounders. We'll be talking about skills, techniques and tactics to make you a better rounders player. Let's begin. Skills in fielding. One skill that fielders use is the high catch. This is where you approach the ball as it starts to drop whilst trying to keep your eye on the ball. Another skill is the low catch. This is when the ball is coming at body height and you put your pinky finger together to stop it running through. Underarm throws are used as they can be quicker than going for a huge throw. Uh, f this is used for a shorter pass. Another skill is using the correct catching technique so that you have a better chance of c catching the ball and getting the batters out. Techniques of fielding in rounders. The use of long barriers is an effective technique when fielding in rounders. It involves getting in front of the line of, bo of the ball, bending down, using knees, and then using your hands to gather the ball. This is therefore stopping the ball moving past you if your hands miss the ball. The short throw in involves you running along the inside of the line of the ball, landing the right foot beside the ball, picking the ball up and then turning into a throwing position. The long throw involves the use of picking up the ball when it is near a boundary by picking up the ball up on the left foot, turning hard from the left foot and throwing the ball using the preferred arm to aim. Throwing the ball on the turn involves you running along the inside of the ball, picking the ball up on the right foot, stepping into to the left foot, then jumping through the ball using the preferred arm to aim as well. Tactics in fielding. Short throws are used when the ball hasn't made it very far. You are in a radius of a base and you can throw the ball to the base to get the batter out. A long throw is when the ball has gone far and you need to get the ball to a base as the fastest way possible. A position, the position of fielders in, a, in the position where they can be more effective, for example, between two and first base is where they will get the most batters out. Also, returning the ball to the bat baller to stop batters running to the next base to stop points being scored is another great tactic. Each point is important as the closer they get, they get to the fourth, the more chance they have of scoring half a rounder or a full rounder. Finally, the best, ta uh, the final tactic, not the best tactic, is the more advanced skill. It's throwing on the turn which prevents a batter getting to the base and preventing them scoring a point or getting the rounders or half rounders thank you